It was a huge day for Indian astronomy on 28 September 2015 when AstroSat was launched. It was India's first observatory in space. Normally we have telescopes on land which are easier to build. However, most of the high frequency light is stopped by our atmosphere and it is great for living beings on earth otherwise we will all die due to radiation exposure. But not so good for the astronomers and so to study high energy radiation emitted in space we need to have an observatory and telescopes in space. Astrosat was placed in orbit by PSLV XL C30 a four stage rocket with six strap on motors. PSLV weighed 320 tons and it was as high as a 15 story building. The satellite itself weighs 1.5 tons equivalent to the weight of a car and is 2 meters in height. And so to put 1 kg in orbit we need 150 kg of rocket and fuel. At 7.5 km per second Astrosat is 200 times faster than Shatabdi Express, the fastest train in India. The stages of PSLV keep dropping at different heights and finally the fourth stage rocket delivers it in almost circular orbit. The orbit is almost parallel to the equator inclined at an angle of 6 degrees. At its speed Astrosat goes around the earth every 97 minutes or 15 times a day. Astrosat's orbit is 99% circular with just 1% elliptical eccentricity. This was done by achieving a precise rocket speed such that the gravitational force of earth is equaled by the centrifugal force. If the speed is more, the orbit will become more and more elliptical till the astrosat escapes the gravity of earth and flies away in space. Astrosat is powered by solar panels providing 1.5 kilowatt of power. This is the same power as a geyser we use in our bathrooms. Astrosat has an antenna operating at 8 gigahertz band and transmitting data at 105 megabits per second. Whenever it passes over the two receivers at ISSDC by Lalu near Bangalore, we can send commands to Astrosat and receive data that Astrosat has collected. The contact remains alive for about 3 minutes and so the total data that can be received is about 4.7 gigabytes the size of a full HD movie. We spent 178 crore rupees on Astrosat excluding the cost of delivery. Is it worth it? Well you decide. If something is wrong with our bodies, doctors use various cameras, ultrasound, x-ray, infrared by which they can get the correct picture of our body. Similarly to find out what is going on in the universe, we need to look at the light emitted by objects. The objects emit light not just in visible range but in gamma rays, x-rays to ultraviolet, visible, infrared to microwaves and radio waves. So to observe all these radiations we need different telescopes in space. And this is what Astrosat with its 5 cameras bundled in one does for us. The 5 cameras are UVIT, LAXPC, SXT, CZTI, SSM. These cameras provide information regarding the binary star system, neutron stars, black holes, star birth regions etc. And if we think about money, we anyways burn crackers worth 10,000 crores every Diwali. Astrosat is the culmination of painstaking years of work of scientists from six premier Indian institutes ISRO, TIFR, IIA, PRL, RRI and IUCA. The analysis and discoveries are to follow when Astrostat starts delivering data in 6 months. And so we look forward to enhancing our knowledge about space, wonderful discoveries and great science with the help of data received from Astrosat. Thank you.